What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Game of Thrones video here for you guys on the channel. This is obviously the Telltale series on Game of Thrones. I did enjoy quite extensively uh, the, you know, the Batman Telltale series. So that kind of got me motivated into doing some more Telltale games. And this one so far hasn't disappointed. Granted, we only did the intro portion, but it was more Telltale stuff and I actually really enjoy that. Uh, there was a problem though, admittingly, the whole intro thing where it showed the, uh, the actual intro to Game of Thrones from the TV show actually was, uh, copyrighted, so unfortunately I wasn't able to make anything out of it, so I'm not gonna cut it out essentially from the video. Uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is just muting that whole section whenever it pops up, if it ever comes up again. If it doesn't, that would be great. If it does... Uh, then I'll just mute that section and you'll probably hear me speak over it uh, nonetheless, but uh, another thing too you guys didn't see a You know a halting of videos, but that's because I record ahead, but I have taken a week off prior to this video so uh, I've only recorded one video on this game So I kind of have to remember some of the gameplay stuff on this so it should be pretty interesting to say the least but I should have I should be pretty good in that uh, aspect since I have played Telltale games before, so there's that. If you're excited for this video though, do me a huge, huge, huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. Alright, what do we got going on here? That sword is pretty cool though, I'm not gonna lie, it's like a claymore or something. Am I playing? Okay, yes, I'm playing. What are we doing? Can I turn around? Do I have to kill this pig? I don't know, I am pretty hungry. <gasps> Blood! Oh no, something's happening. Oh, it's just a dead pig, never mind. <laughs> Oh no, something really is happening. There's a fire or smoke in the distance. Uh, can I run? No, but I can speed walk. Look at. What is this? I mean, clearly it's a cart, but like, what is this about? That's Father's car. Oh, snap. Someone's laughing. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Am I playing? Oh yes, I am. It may be common, but at least still have us bacon. <laughs> They're killing my family's pigs. Do we have to kill them? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Is that my father? <gasps> I said move on. Oh, there's no way in hell. It. I'm gonna not defend my father. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. Oh, I snap. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. Ah! <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no. I'll save you, Dad. Don't worry. I'll have that sword, boy. I'll have your soul. How about that? Cash me inside, how about that? Uh, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. That's very Game of Thrones-like. Oh, snap! <laughs> oh! Am I- is this, is this the right choice? Probably not, now I'm disarmed. Alright, finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. I'm not very good at what I do, am I? Oh, pickaxe? Uh, I'm not a pickaxe, a pitchfork? Yeah, they are a pig farmer, aren't Fuck you? yeah, I'll take the pitchfork. Just because I think it's funny. Ah! Let's go! Stab him right in the gut! They oh, damn, that's... Okay, that works. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Just like Bele. 
He really thinks he's gonna kill me with my own sword. Oh snap, we got it back, baby. Let's do this. Oh! Oh snap, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! No, not my wiener! Got him! I hope- oh snap! Did I miss that? I think I missed that. Mercy! Please! Mercy? I beg of you! I, I have a family! They'll never survive without me! This is Game I of Thrones, homeboy! You. I, I was only following orders. Ah, you, uh, you know what? I'll show Mercy. Thank you. I hope this doesn't bite me in the ass. Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Yeah, it's gonna bite me in the ass. Crap. I should have offed him. Father? He's gonna die, isn't he? Garrett, you survived. It sounded like you said Geralt. Your sister. Arabia. She hid. Oh my god. I tried to stop them. Oh. Man, that's sad. The art style is actually pretty nice. I'll kill the men who did this. So my sister's dead? She died in that log? That is so terrible. If how if I would have known that I would have killed him instead of showed mercy. It's Garrett. It's Geralt of Rivia. Castellan, tell him his nephew survived. Garrett. Crap. Get up, Geralt <laughs> of Rivia. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall quickly. Damn. Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. Oh my god, that's terrible, this dude. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. That's terrible, dude. She was just a kid. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Good. I kind of need that. Justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. You know what? But the Whitehills won't uh, see it that way. I had no choice, man. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Oh, I thought it was because we can't let the white it was my just family. walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? That looks gross. Let's go. Oh. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Oh. These are dark days, I fear. That's gross. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor uh, Roderick. Our house will never man, fall. But he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young. And altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. 
He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. That is pretty odd. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. Uh, He's as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters uh, in the art of war. There was right. nothing we could do. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I or low. That's, Lady Forrester that's nice, will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. The answer is yes. Yes, I can. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. So, am I... Am I going over here? The Lord's Chair. Oh, we're in the main... The main chamber, I guess. It's kind of small. It's not really, uh... Doesn't really say a lot of this place, does it? Look at the window. The Ironwood Grove. That's, <laughs> that's it? I thought he was going to say something else. I thought he was going to have like a deep inner monologue or something. Oh, what's this? Shield. An Ironwood Shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. Oh, I know one that's stronger. <laughs> JK, JK. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine. The tapestry? Uh. Let's look at left to right. Asher. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, so I guess... Oh, Talia and Ethan. So Ethan is the house lord, according to the guy out over there. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Exactly. All right, Mira. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Probably not. Uh, Lady Forrester, the Lady wife. Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. This guy's special to the family. Uh, Ryan. Ryan. Never easy being a fourth-born son. I'm sure. You have, like, no legacy at that point. Lord, Lord Forrester. Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Did, wait, did he die? I don't remember him dying. Roderick. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Because that was the guy that helped us in the beginning, right? The guy that gave mm -hmm. us the sword? I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Let's look around. I want to see... I'm going to go over there in a second. I want to see what's over here. Oh, wait. There's something right here. Medical supplies. I am limping a little bit. Uh, touch? Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? That's disgusting. Why the hell did I touch that? I thought it was something else. Ugh! Yeah, good. Yeah, that feel gross. Alright, let me see. Uh, healing herbs. Looks like, uh, what is it, cilantro or something? This might help. Oh, I could take it with me? Cool. Bandages. I'll be taking that too then. It says talk to the maester when you're done exploring, but nah, bruh. Not done yet. Hold your horses. Uh, uh, no. You see there? You're limping again. I'm fine. Really? Maybe I'm taking too long. Alright, that's a... Oh, I can't go over there? Uh, I guess not. All right, Maester or Ornstein. I wonder where Smo is. I'm just kidding. All right, let me see. Uh, show sword two. Dude, <laughs> what the hell's the it's point a of good this? Thing you've done, <laughs> bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through fifty generations of Foresters. That's a lot. Look at 
Keep moving. I need to see you walk. I thought you were. I thought we were done already. All right, talk to. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Uh. Well, let's go one at a time. Who's the new lord? Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Interesting story, bro. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Um... What will become of me? What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under Nothing. normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... Circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire. If that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Uh, can I see him? Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Uh, why do the White Tails hate us, anyways? Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Yeah, that's probably what happened, to be honest. Uh, the White Hills won our, uh, Ironwood? The White Hills won Forester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Gasp! Uh, what well, can I leave now? Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Only time will tell, but... Good, Lady thank Forrester. you. Welcome home, Garrett. Sorry We're for your loss. We're relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Aww. I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. What was that look by the maester? That was weird. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You oh, I feel like... Right, no? Oh, I'm I feel sure like crap. Chaos and confusion. But uh, if you can remember anything, I'm he fought sure valiantly. Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. Damn. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words oh, I before don't remember. he passed? If you uh, can remember. Give her the sword? It would mean so much to the family. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course. Oh, Lady. crap. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove I should have told her the, to go north. I'll be north. sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. Do you? I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell oh, God, Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We They're have the to. the ones that should be demanding retribution. 
This happened on uh, Forrester They Land. killed my family. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. I'm gonna Nancy have to choose Snow the side watch. Here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered. Ramsey's a already. lunatic, though. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. Uh, it was his family they killed. Uh, we need to be smart. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. Yeah, that's true. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, I not it'll leaving. Be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting uh, him for what he did. I've, I've done, done nothing same, wrong. As any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsey Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. That's I'm pretty scary. It's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Uh, Duncan, where would I go? I suffered enough. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done what? nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. What? I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially My... now. When the but I'm not a criminal. So vulnerable. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. It's still not right. Still not right. No, it's not. But it's what's best. Why the wall, though? That settles it, then. I could just hide. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. So this decision definitely bit me in the ass. But hey, maybe we'll meet, uh... Uh... Crap, the... The Stark Bastard. What's his name, uh... Oh crap, I can't remember. Word I'm having a brain fart. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you're not a criminal, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the uh, His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I was to ride in the van. At the twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and and I at Roderick's side, but it was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I don't like this decision. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Uh the what North Grove Bazaar Pilas. Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said. The North Grove can never be lost. Yay! Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed. Uh, if he ever. said only to tell you. He said tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. What is they it think though? It's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? No, nobody. This is important, Garrett. Uh, I've told no one. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. 
What is the North? I should have asked what the North Grove was. And yes, I definitely want to be a ranger. Since I have I no other option. Ice. I am from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Damn, dude. I'm legitimately curious what the North Grove is. I no longer regret not telling uh, Lady Forrester. Kind of messed up, but Lord Hurry, Forrester, wait. rest in peace, asked me to. Okay, what is this? Necklace, thank you. To remember the house, I suppose? Be safe. Aw, oh, she's sweet. Damn, this is a big deal, man. They straight up sent me to the wall. Where's this? A long Ethan. road ahead. Ethan! Uh, Ethan Forrester. Oh, I'm, I'm the Lord. Damn, he's literally just a kid. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. <laughs> like this game anymore. She knows exactly where he is. Maybe something happened to him. He's uh, fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. <laughs> I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I Good. wish Mira was here, and Asha, and and Roderick, and Dancer and Prancer. But Mira's in King's Landing, and can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe. I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. Oh, Mister, uh... he was nice. Uh, you know he's strong. He to get sent away like that. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. He didn't do I anything. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? <laughs> and he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royland uh, forgets himself. After he underestimates all, me. You are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. I agree. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick <laughs> and Asher. And he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> this is a wholesome scene. Younger, when we all used to play here, you, me, Roderick, Asher, we'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Thank you. I know a Lord uh, has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I don't want to change. It's for you to decide for yourself. I don't want to get angry. But I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. You can't be. You well, can't always be nice as a leader, you're the though. New lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. 
everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. <laughs> if only it were that simple. It would be uh, nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. <clears throat> that's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. I don't want to be a dictator either. Lord Ethan, you're yes, needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Who said that? I like this scene. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Uh-oh. Can't he be with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. I have to be strong. an audience with the Lord. We really must go. I have to go. It's I'm the leader. Decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would uh. command Ethan to stay. Let's go. Family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. I have to go. I love my family and everything, but I have my res my responsibility and duties. Ah, oh, that's that's sad. Heartbreaking. Oh God! I can feel the. They tense. showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house, or was, I suppose. Is was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Uh, Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle I can this. handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men go over. Oh my god, this is so nerve-wracking. I don't want to mess this up, but I don't want to be a punk either. That's it. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord All Forrester right. was no... I'll shake his hand. You're my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting yep. All right, he's an asshole. All my life. The Foresters uh, finally get their due. Don't test me. I may be young. But I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. Maybe you're a piece no of crap. Curtises. I should have expected uh... as much. Bloody forest. Uh, fetch Lord Whitehill some bread and salt. Let's try to keep the, the It was peace. an oversight, Lord Whitehill. I promise it won't happen again. Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're Crap. the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. This is terrifying. Lord Ethan, uh, that's you're losing a, control. That's enough. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh, God. Look at this guy again. That's the same guy, right? From Your the farm? man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. My... Hear that? Wow. Attacked for no reason. You murdered his family. No reason? You murdered his family? Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire? 
Lord Ethan. Oh, he that backfired. Your name. Uh, and you are the How do you answer Lord for your men? Of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. Uh, what have you done with him? Send him to the wall. To the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Me. Answer me. I did. I did. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I don't I'm care. I'm leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? Stand your ground. A house ground. of honorable men. Oh, yeah. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this, this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. It's over. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Oh, snap. She that lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Uh... I'll just... I'll just stay quiet. Do your worst, you bastard. I think saying something would have just escalated the situation. And seriously, that guy's an ass. But she... His mom... You Lady Forrester is powerful. Man. Your enemies will interpret your silence as a sign of weakness. Oh, you crap. You brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. I thought staying quiet was probably going to be the best bet, but apparently not. But Lady Forrester, my god, dude, she is powerful. This she is made him shut us. up. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Okay, so now it's game time. Let me see if I can, uh... Add, uh... Subtitles. I could have sworn I already had subtitles on, but apparently not. Audio video, maybe? Okay, that should that should do it. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on and see what happens now. Alright, look at Ironwood Box. What kind of stuff will we find here? Uh, carved Ironwood Tree. Ethan made this for me. Aw. I'm, t I'm assuming she's older, right? Uh, High Garden Brotch. That's from uh, that other house. I forgot their name. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. There you go. It once belonged to Lady Elena. I wonder if we're ever... Well, I mean, I know I have the box, obviously, for the game. So I know at one point we're going to see characters from the TV show. But I wonder how many of them are in this show or in this game. Uh, but anyways... Look at Yunkish coin. Yunkish? I don't know. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Oh, so he went to Essos. Cool. Uh, unfinished letter. Well, read. Let's read this. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Okay. That's it.
Okay, that was it. Let's see what else we could find. Dusty old tome. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. You will. Hope, hopefully. It is Game of Thrones, though. You never know. <laughs> you never know what this freaking uh, IP. Uh, look out the window. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Pretty dark, considering all the circumstances surrounding the situation there. Letter from Mother. Yay, read. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Are we going to meet Lady Marjorie? I think we are. All right, let's open this door and find out who's on the other side. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. What is it? Uh, what's up? No, it's fine. Come in. What is he putting in there? Begging your pardon, my lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you uh, seem rather upset. I'm okay. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. I wonder if he's important to the story, because... You work for Lady Marjorie? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> but it seems like you do. Uh, I'm her handmaiden. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. <gasps> Cersei? Gasp! They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Uh, you were eavesdropping? You were eavesdropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by, and I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? Oh, God. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I do I want to know. in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. No, wait, come here. Good night, my lady. Man, I feel like crap. I could have. Why? Well, it, it's wrong to use him, but he is an asset. Hey! Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Oh, snap. Maybe we could convince her for some, you know, soldiers. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. That's and kind. you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've uh, suffered is beyond imagining. You're, uh, you're I need your help. As well. I need your help, my lady. Of course, and I will help you in any way I can. But there's another matter we must attend to first. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered oh, me this snap. morning outside the Royal Set. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. What? She was very pleased with herself. Why would she do that? Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable. 
knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. But I have I nothing... I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding I so I did nothing near. to apologize for. I cannot for. apologize, my lady. I'm not a traitor. I know you're not, but you must find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Okay, I'll try. I hope I don't mess this See up. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. And this girl was being nosy in a very uncomfortable way. Can I help you, sir? You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Thank you. Oh god, dude. Oh god, this is nerve-wracking. Cersei is a freaking maniac, too. <laughs> oh. Not to mention what she does to her brother. Hey! It's not just Cersei, it's also uh, uh, Tyrion. You can do this. One of my favorite characters, I love his ass. Well, not... <laughs> <laughs> Not his ass. You know, okay, never mind. You know what? I'm just digging a hole. This is uncomfortable. Look at all these people staring at me. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord I might be Tyrion. able to convince Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Uh... I'll kneel before her. Your grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. Uh, He's not here, is he? She to the is. one true king. Yes, your grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yet she didn't say which. The girl is clever. Oh, snap. Damn it. That's she, what I was trying. I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. Okay, that backfired. I impertinence from a girl of the north. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. Uh... They were our wardens? They were the wardens of the north. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. And she would have us believe she didn't know which king she served. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Oh, <laughs> uh, he's the new warden, right? He is the warden of the north, your grace. He is, and I the queen regent and Tyrion the master of coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Tyrion, stop All being a dick. All are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told oh, there God, are Joffrey. others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather... Uh... Unique. To our mutual to benefit. Our mutual benefit, your grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I oh, imagine snap. you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to our uh, There are, are limits, your limits, your grace. Your grace. Perhaps. But not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks. 
wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It's true. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Oh, snap. Should she be held accountable? Uh, I won't judge her. I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If I agree. there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. I'm not trying to get myself killed right now, though. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if oh your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would- Let the would... girl answer the question. Uh, Go on. Be true to be the king. Be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. It said Marjorie will remember that. I she hope that was the right answer. A threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. There you go, Tyrion. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Hey, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> which is not very encouraging. How can you? I'd like I mean, a word with you, if I may. She does the exact course, same thing, though. Grace. She'll she'll say anything to get what she wants. Cersei. I sense I got some respect from Tyrion, though. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. Thank you. You have my condolences for his loss. Uh... These would be trying times for your family, even Thank you, under Lord the Tyrion. best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. This is the same so voice actor. You publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. Uh, I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. It was... Uh, fuck. Damn it. No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you, eventually. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take <laughs> mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, uh, and I speak for the crown in this regard. What are you suggesting? Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? Oh it my god. Too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. Yes? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Hey, Sansa's Three in this too? Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere uh, thought of them makes me thirsty. Thanks for the day. advice. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Yep, I've seen the show. That's what makes this so good. It's such a good game for a Telltale series, in my opinion. You just never know what's going to happen. Mira, I was worried. How was it? 
Um, has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. Not so great. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult, but at least it's over now. For now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah. Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing <laughs> that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. And over in Martell, the Red Viper. Oh God, he dies. I think in the show. I'm told uh, you the paramour, which I doubt. You'll get us in trouble. Wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Terrifying, probably. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? <laughs> he does have a certain nope. look about him. And he's always treated uh, Marjorie well. I don't want to be queen. Can say for his mother. I don't want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners, you'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the seven kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. <laughs> There's more to life than power, though. A lot more. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect match. She's a badass, though. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Whoop. She got us in trouble. Well. Uh, I'm sorry, my lady. I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was pleased by your display, Mirror. Oh, okay, good. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. I'm already exhausted. There's always someone Stressful. to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Of course. What? She's a sweetheart. Uh, so she's, yep, you're right. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. You have Thank no you, idea. Lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Which is? Uh, yeah, ask for help. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Uh, all right. And I trust you. For now. Go on. Uh, ask. My mother needs our help. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. Psychopath. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request. Not at all. Now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. 
Scary. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I'll be in your debt. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. Oh, this is terrifying. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. You're, but you're adored by the king. Don't let the queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. That's true. I remember now the show. Now will arrive <laughs> at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. As, as long you, as you lady. try, I'll be grateful. I will send a raven to my family at once. Oh, she looks worried. I'm sure for a good reason. Joffrey's a freaking lunatic. Hey! We're Geralt of Rivia again. King's Road. What in the world is going on? <laughs> well, I got no horse anymore. Seven elves. Seven? Not eight? Oh, God. It's gonna be... It's what's-his-name, isn't it? Damn, they're literally torturing him! Let's play a little game, shall we? Oh my God, it is. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <laughs> that was funny. He was like, huh. Not my best work, unfortunately. I oh, he's turning. I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the warden of the Lord. God, this guy's a maniac. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Oh, snap. That's not good. Shh. Listen. He's gonna fetch the wolves on me. Or the dogs, I mean. There. Hear that? No. Uh, I know I heard something. Stay still. Oh, God. Don't get caught. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Holy shit, dude. That was... <laughs> my heart was beating. I was li literally holding my breath. I don't want to make the wrong decisions and get people I like killed. So far, I like him. Did they leave him? The dude? Yeah, they did. Is he dead or alive, though? Oh, that looks terrible. He's dead, isn't he? I'm willing to bet he skinned him. Yeah, go oh, yeah. figure. That's horrifying. Is this the wall? Lord Ethan. No, this is back at a... Uh... As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, 
and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. That's nice. He uh, was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. Uh, why are you telling me this? Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Why can't I uh, select my own... Geralt? Who's this guy? <laughs> Judgment. What is this I've about? Done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. <laughs> oh God, we got a judgment Lord call. Ethan. You need my judgment? Wait, who yes. is this man? Who is this man? This Craven is a deserter and a thief. Explain yourself, dude. This house is doomed. Oh God, dude. We all fucking know it. Quiet, thief. Don't Eric do this, man. We're supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. S S S two you shields and three spears. Uh, you stole from us? You stole from us? I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. Come on, dude. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Oh, God, what do I do, man? He did Lord steal. Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive you the coming given... winter. Together we'll survive. We won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that. But it won't be you who's starving come winter. Yeah, he does have You'll a point, address though. address him as Lord. <clears throat> this Lord is e, too aggressive, though. You must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Need to I, know I agree. They cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. Showing mercy is a good thing. Yeah, mercy. I I think mercy is the thing. He was honest. Maybe there is a little redemption. He's just I fearful. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. You're not innocent, dude. Justice, my lord. I'm Please, sorry, to... my lord. My family depends on me. Whoa, this is scary. If I send him to the mall, to the mall. <laughs> if I send him to the wall, he f I fuck over his entire family. If I take his fingers, I think that'll be too extreme for the circumstances, especially the fact that he was being. Fuck, dude! I think I have to show him. Just I, I, I think I just have to show him mercy. Plus, I'll probably earn favor from the people, but I'll probably lose respect from my. Fuck, this is hard. All right, I'll show him mercy. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He's still a forester. He still serves House Forester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord... I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. I'm assuming we're broke, seeing as what uh, he just said. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. I Not agree. Yourself, of course. Uh, was I right? Any lord. Maester. What do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? 
Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. No, I agree. Someone uh... you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. I could choose you. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, God, no. I can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I, I already know who I'm choosing. Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Fair enough. Your Sentinel will wear uh, this for all to see. Thank you. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Will do. All right, so he said we got to talk. I think I already know who I want, though. Although he's very aggressive, but he is very militant. And we probably need that right now, but he is kind. He's the type of person I prefer to be. So let's let's talk to people around. Uh, No, not him. Wait, what's in here? I don't want to enter the tower. Let's walk around. Maybe we'll find my sister. She was around here somewhere, I think, right? Uh, there she is. Malcolm. I'll talk to her. Oh, I can't talk to her. All right, let's talk to him. Are you holding a sword? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. Mm, why are you packing? Where are you going? First light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? But where? She wait, what happened? She asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos, but she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. I, I agree. Do you know that just as well? Uh, I'll be my gentle. Mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. All right, here goes the conversation. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. Mm. And I'd trust him. Why are you so sure? Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. I agree. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. But maybe... Ethan, no, I need to talk to you. I disagree, actually. Because if... If he will strengthen my negotiations or whatever, maybe negotiating with Ramsay is not the ideal, but maybe negotiating with everyone you. else Mira has asked for to help us. Help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. My whole thing is... You did to that man. All right, let me see. I can't afford any more mistakes. That's not a mistake, dude. What happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Too scared. Ethan, uh, please tell me who should be sentinel. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable. 
and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. So Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. I agree. Not everything can be solved with war. Me good advice. Thank you. Although it's applicable sometimes, but we're already at war, in my opinion. So at this moment, he is not a bad choice. It's better to be prepared. This is actually a tough choice, I'm not gonna lie, but I think I'm gonna side with him. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Let me talk to both of them. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Um. Ask about ask him about sentinels. Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? I haven't Perhaps decided I can yet. Share my insight. And uh, talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Not sure yet. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Was that it? I guess that was it. What is this? Look at food? Let me see. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. Uh, why are they- why are people starving? People were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. Mm. The last long I trust you'll make the right decision. Give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. I don't... I don't like that decision. All right, let's try to talk to... Wait, where'd he go? Where's the warrior man? All right, here he is. Hey! Sword up! Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs Roiland. could hold swords. A word? Of course, my lord. I just want to see what he says really quick. Many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. Uh, I need a sentinel. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Uh, Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Duncan is a good you man. Don't say much oh crap! To you, lad. That's good. Reminds me of your brother Asher. So, um, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. I think he's not a bad dude, man. I'm not gonna lie. He's not a bad dude, but. Uh, I think I'm gonna side with him. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? Fuck, dude, this is so hard. I, I feel like we need a military man, too. But a military man is not... They're, they're probably not the best choice... To have as someone to solely have as just giving advice on a general array of subjects. That's why I'm favoring him. I think we need two different freaking councils. I don't know. I'm going to side with him right here. Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it at once. Cool. 
Well, decision's done. I think I saw him down here. No, that wasn't him. No, that's not it either. Uh, <laughs> where is he? Uh, right there. Maestro T or Ornstein. Come on, you dogs. You'll not be fighting here forever. Damn, he walks slow. Hurry up. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Uh... Yes, I am. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Oh, snap. I hope I made the right decision, man. This is not easy. These are these are not easy decisions. If you're actually invested in the situation of the game. I do like that they I wish I could get you may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Let's see here. Let's see what Before happens. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Uh, you're both worthy. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let oh, him shit. be on with it. <laughs> Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Don't be petty, you guys. I'm giving it to Duncan, but don't be petty about it. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. I, I have a feeling Roiland is going to disappoint us. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. With no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. Uh, we'll deal with him. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. <coughs> you named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be Stop the bickering. He's the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. There you go, boy. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, but please. they're not stupid, too. I hope not. Thank the gods, Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's mm. judgment. What do you recommend? I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. What? It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough. Mm. I, I prefer diplomacy. We'll die if we fight. We'll give away all of our power if we bargain. I think diplomacy is our only option, really. My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I <laughs> shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. There's nothing wrong with diplomacy. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. 
Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. I hope Roiland is just him pa into uh, this passionate. And meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Hmm. You can't... You can't go the diplomacy route with, a, and if, with an overwhelming show of force. That's almost provoking or forcing the hand in a negative aspect, in my opinion. I think we need to try to at least make him feel welcome and then try to persuade him with diplomacy. So I'll invite him to I the Great Hall. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down. Sit down at once. He's going to betray me, dude. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you. Where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Oh god, dude, this is nerve wracking, dude. I hope Roiland My doesn't Lord, betray I have me. I fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. What the hell's that supposed to mean? There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. Like? What about your brother, Asher? He's an Essos. Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. But you exiled him. Oh, no, we need all the help we can get. You want him to be lord? But won't he be lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. Builds character. When Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. God damn, dude. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have do many we fine qualities. He's dangerous. But you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. I don't disagree, but... It's always good to have the right person, too. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan. Let me send Malcolm to Essos. I don't... I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. This is gonna bite me in the ass, man. Uh, I'll keep Malcolm here. I'm sorry, Mother, but I can't have Malcolm bring Asher back. He will not go to Essos. That is the final word. Do you hear me? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I hear you, but this is a mistake. I wish you trusted me with this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Thank you, Mom, for understanding. I love you.
This is really intensifying. Oh, Lady Marjorie again. Oh, wait, I'm her now. Oh, no, wait. This is just chambers. All right. Uh, so what's this? Examine. It's a key. I don't want to pick it up just yet. Uh, Tyrell family seal. There's, is this going where I think it's going? Oh, let me see. Pick up. Uh, return seal. Key. I'm not taking anything, dude. I want to gain her trust. Return key. Marjorie? Oh. Why she looks sad for? Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Nera, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I'm speaking out of fear for my family. You if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you uh, must feel. Thanks for offering. to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... Oh no, what's going on? Oh no. I'm nervous. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Uh... Is everything alright? Are you alright, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. Oh. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Oh God. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I'm, I'm sorry. so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the king's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. Oh, God. That's this sad. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. You don't say. You must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. That's... That's bad. My lady. Hey, the boy again. Begging your pardon, my lady. Uh, it's good I hope to I didn't see frighten you. you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family if you're willing to trust me. He'll be a valuable all asset. Things, things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. No, I know you can. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... It's the King's Guard? People who'd be willing to help you. Dun dun dun. I think I'm gonna end up siding with him. I feel like she doesn't have anybody to depend on. Marjorie tried, but she has very little to no power right now. Oh Where's God. The 
He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. He didn't betray us, did he? Could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Uh, we'll prevail. The plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Oh, God. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the Warden you. of no. the... That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Who uh, is this little boy? May I offer oh. bread and salt? <laughs> may I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Uh, no Doesn't one can like match much. our skill. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you <laughs> could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Good, 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 good. Look at that. So far, Lord so good. Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. This makes me uncomfortable. We really must focus on the business at hand. Uh, you want our fealty? Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. I don't think Words I could do that. I win. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. Fuck! Ugh! Oh, fuck, I pushed the wrong My lord. button. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? I pushed the wrong button. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Good. crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? Uh, that wouldn't reflect well on me. Your father you does not need to worry. worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet uh, your man he was justified. lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a uh -oh. solution that will benefit everyone. Which is? The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? Um... We are talking about trees. You grow them. We are the true craftsmen. Now, we have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Tellers have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years? 
or the next 50 generations. The Good point. The Lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. <laughs> to ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. Mm. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Of course not. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Riff will lead the garrison. You have no right. Wait hills have no place here. That's do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. Oh, get the hell out of here, dude. You You're not messing with my freaking brother. Are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? Oh, I'm this makes twin, me so I'm... uncomfortable. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just <laughs> like the Queen and her brother. <laughs> I never had a sister. So gross. Always one. Enough! Enough, Lord Snow! I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Dude, like this is going so bad. Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We uh, get along. Let her go. Well. You've gone too far, Lord Ramsay. I demand you let her go. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? <laughs> oh my god! No! What have you done? I don't want the brave lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! no, no. Even though you did bend the knee. I, I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan. What have you done? However, the oh my god. just need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your wall. No. Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Brian. Why am I not surprised? Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let him take me! Oh, let him go! Stop that! Help me! Ryan, stop it! Let me go! Do something! Ethan? My son. Oh my god, bro. Well, started off with the wrong foot. Your story has begun. Next time on Game of Thrones. Well, that was definitely a shocking Ethan end. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me the Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Hey, it's John those Snow. who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Damn, dude. This... This is insane. Uh, you're offline, okay, whatever. Uh, Telltale Games, okay, that's fine. Oh, that's it? I thought it was gonna show me the, uh, what I did right and what I did wrong. I guess not.
All right. Well, that's definitely gonna have to do it, man, uh, for this video. That was absolutely insane, bro. Like, Ethan died. I wasn't expecting him to die, although I'm not surprised, uh, seeing as how uh, much of a lunatic uh, Lord Bol or Bolton Snow or whatever you want to call him, Snow Bolton, whatever. Uh, he's a maniac, even in the show, man. Just the fact that he was in our place made me uncomfortable. So, in a good way, it's in a very Game of Thrones way, you know. I, I really enjoy this. It's insane. Uh, but if you enjoyed this first chapter, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because there's definitely going to be more Game of Thrones here on the channel. So, with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.